The 2014 Best Actor Oscar race is jammed with talent. You know it's a tough category to call when actors like Robert Redford, Tom Hanks, and Inside Lewin Davis star Oscar Isaacs can't even get a spot at the table. Let's take a look at the five nominees and how they stack up in this very busy race. Christian Bale. He's nominated for American Hustle and is something of a dark horse, although his vanity-free performance as conman Irving Rosenfeld was a highlight of a very good film, and it has an impressive 10 nominations. He could just win. So what's stopping him? Well, Bale took home a Best Supporting Actor win in 2011, and with American Hustle getting a lot of Oscar love, Bale could be sacrificed just to even things out. Bruce Dern. He's been nominated for playing a crotchety senior who truly believes the advertising flyer he gets, promising he's won a million. And at age 77, Dern's only previous Oscar nomination was 1979 for Coming Home. So he's due. And nobody can argue this is an impressive and surprisingly nuanced performance. He might just win on March 2nd. Four-time Oscar nominee Leonardo DiCaprio was hoping the Academy quits teasing him and hands over that hardware for his portrayal of financial genius and dedicated jerk Jordan Belfort in The Wolf of Wall Street. Oscar voters often want to reflect a sense of responsibility to someone they feel has been overlooked. In that case, Leo may finally get a chance to give his acceptance speech. Chiwetel Ejiofor, whose performance as free man Solomon Northrup, who was tricked into slavery in 12 Years a Slave, has been talked up as a leading Best Actor contender really from the moment the film premiered. The movie has nine Oscar nominations and is a strong choice for Best Picture. Ejiofor could easily take home the Golden Statuette. Finally, Matthew McConaughey's portrayal of unlikely AIDS activist Ron Woodruff in Dallas Buyers Club. It's already picking up prizes, the Golden Globe, Critics' Choice and Screen Actors Guild Awards. The Academy loves it when an actor reinvents himself, and McConaughey has certainly done that since he turned his back on rom-coms for more serious fare. Does that add up to an Oscar? We'll find out March 2nd. For all you need to know about movies and the run-up to Oscar 2014, read the Toronto Star and go to thestar.com.